Okay, we're going to try batch rendering on two Mac Pros. One on the left is the 8-core Mac Pro. The one on the right, a 4-core Mac Pro for hopefully a total of 12. And uh, we got both monitors, each hooked up to a separate monitor. The one on the right is for the 8-core Mac Pro. The one on the left is for the 4-core Mac Pro. Okay, uh, we're back on the 4-core uh, Mac Pro. We're going to set it up to allow the 8-core to use this as a render job to this uh, Mac Pro. And uh, we're going to go in there and make sure it's turned on so the uh, other Mac Pro can see it. And uh, here we are on the 8-core uh, Mac Pro. Uh, we already have a job set up uh, for rendering. We're going to go back in Preferences, and we're actually going to make uh, a batch process for both Mac Pros um, as a shared computers so we're going to add click on the plus sign we're going to rename it to batch um, name of the job and we're also going to select the four core mac pro on the network to render the job with and uh, enable all the cores for this one Okay, we're also going to go on the bottom and we have to select the batch job uh, and not this Mac Pro. Once we do that, we're going to send the uh, batch to uh, be rendered. And uh, it will take uh, 20 seconds or so to uh, enable the, uh, the batch process. The batch job is uh, now finally sent to render, and as you can see, we're having um, 12 instances for 12 cores on the Mac Pros and one uh, instance for audio.